A chord's inversion describes the relationship of its bass to the other tones in the chord. For instance, a C major triad contains the tones C, E, and G. Its inversion is determined by which of these tones is the bottom note in the chord. When the first note is the bottom of the chord, it is said to be in root position. When the second note is the bottom of the chord, it is said to be in first inversion. When the third note is the bottom of the chord, it is said to be in second inversion. With seventh chords and higher, the fourth note at the bottom of the chord is said to be in third inversion, and so on and so on. When playing chords, a musician needs to decide which chord tones to include and leave out and how to make the harmony flow smoothly. Voicing chords is simply the process of selecting certain chord tones and arranging them in a particular order from top to bottom. Inversions are very helpful in accomplishing a smooth voicing of chords. Let's look at an example. If we played a chord progression C to F to A minor to G with all the chords in root position, it would sound very jumpy and not very smooth. Inversions allow a player to progress between chords smoothly without extreme jumps between the chord changes. When playing chords, one is not obligated to play all the notes of a chord, especially the extended 7th, 9th, 11th and 13th. Every voicing of a chord will have its own unique sound, which opens a wide range of creative options.